Hey, what's going on you guys? Benjamin here with Motivational Marketer. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about seven different ways that you can start making money online in 2020. Now, maybe you might be sick of your regular nine to five job, or maybe you're just looking to make some extra money on the side. Whatever the case may be, these seven different methods are going to help you out. Now, before I talk about these seven different methods, I just want to first welcome you guys to my channel. And if this is your first time here and you're interested in learning different methods and passive ways to make an income online, then I invite you to subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Okay, so the first method to making money online is by selling stock photos. Now, if you've ever done an image search on Google, you've probably seen images that you're looking for, but they have a watermark over them. Now, if you wanted to use these images without the watermark, you would actually have to pay for the rights to use that image. Now, the person who uploaded that image would be getting paid what's called royalties, meaning they get paid every time somebody buys the rights to use their photo. Now, you can make money by selling stock photos yourself. So if you're somebody who's into photography, you got access to a good DSLR camera, or even the newest smartphone that's available, you can actually make money by selling stock photos. Now, there's a great website called Shutterstock, and basically this is where you can get paid by selling stock photos. So the way it works is you first sign up to Shutterstock and you become a contributor. So you're gonna create your content, which is basically taking photos, high quality photos. You're gonna upload it onto Shutterstock and whenever somebody wants to buy the rights to use your photo, you're gonna get paid with uh, basically royalties. Now the cool thing about Shutterstock is that it's not only limited to stock photos. You can actually upload your own stock music, vector art, and even stock footage. So if you can create any of this type of content, then this might be a good option for you to go with. Now this is also a great way to earn a passive income because you can sell the same type of content over and over again. Now let me talk about the second method, which is selling online courses. Now there's more and more people who are enrolling into online courses because, I mean, it's more convenient that way. Basically any topic that you wanna learn, you can pretty much learn it online. Now if you're someone who has a specific knowledge or a level of mastery in a certain type of area, then you can definitely make money by selling an online course. So basically the way the process would work is you would have to first record your course. Since it's an online course, I mean, you're gonna have to pretty much record it. Now, if you're not somebody who's comfortable being on camera, there's another option that you can go with. You can actually just do a voiceover and just record your computer screen, just showing somebody step-by-step -step on what to do or how to do something. So let's say, for example, that you're somebody who knows how to build a website. You can sell that as an online course. So the way it would work is that you would first record your course and then you would upload it to a website called Teachable. Now Teachable, they do have plans available if you wanna become a teacher. You just have to look at them and see which one would be best suited for you. Now once you upload your course onto Teachable, you're gonna set the price that you wanna charge people to enroll into your course. Now Teachable, they do take a percentage for every transaction whenever somebody enrolls into your course. But this is another great way to earn a passive income because you can have as many people enroll into one single course and just keep earning a residual income from that. Now the third method to making money online is by doing print on demand. So this is basically where you have a graphic design that you can have printed on a t-shirt, on a sweater, on a coffee mug, on a cell phone case, on a number of different items. And basically you list that item for sale. So let's say for example, you have a graphic design that you wanna have put on a shirt. So you're gonna basically list that shirt for sale. And whenever somebody buys that shirt, it's gonna be sent to a third party, a print on demand service. They're gonna print that order and they're gonna fulfill it and ship it out to the customer. Now, a pretty popular website that you can do this is called Printful. So what's cool about using print on demand is since it's basically print on demand, which is meaning made to order, you don't have to spend a whole bunch of money and a lot of inventory upfront and just sitting on it, waiting for it to sell. You're just basically listing an item for sale and whenever somebody buys that item, it gets made and shipped out to the customer. So one thing to keep in mind, if you're gonna use this method, is that you have to factor in the cost of what it's gonna cost you to have that shirt printed and shipped out to the customer. So let's say for example, it costs you $13 to have a shirt printed and then shipped out to a customer. So obviously you're gonna wanna make money on top of that. So you can sell a t-shirt for $25, so that means you'd be making $12 commission. So this is basically like a t-shirt business that you can run from your laptop or your computer. Now there's a few pros and cons about using print on demand. I mean, as I mentioned earlier, 
One of the pros is that you don't have to spend a bunch of money in inventory and just sitting on it waiting for it to sell. But then a con about using print on demand service is that you don't get to personalize it with your own brand and you don't really get to see like the type of quality control that they use. But using a print on demand service to make money online is a great way to get started if you have very little budget to work with. Now the fourth method to making money online is by taking online surveys. Now there's probably dozens and dozens or maybe even hundreds of different websites that pay you for taking surveys. But one website that I would recommend is called user testing. So this is basically a website that pays you to go to different apps or websites and test them out and just give your feedback on what your user experience is like. There's basically a few requirements to get started with this website. You have to be like 18 years or older. You have to be able to speak your thoughts out loud in English and you basically need a computer with an internet connection. Oh, and you do need to be able to download their testing software. Now, I just wanna give you guys a disclaimer. I mean, this method is basically trading your time for money. It's not gonna make you rich. It's just a method to earn some extra cash on the side. So if you're somebody who has some free time, you wanna fill out some surveys, I mean, you can earn about $10 for every 15 to 20 minute survey. So I would recommend this method for people who have some free time on their hands and they basically don't know what to do with it. So instead of like watching TV or watching YouTube, you can be making money by taking online surveys. Now method number five is by charging electric scooters. So if you've ever seen anybody riding around town in those electric scooters, whether it's Bird or Lime, those scooters, they need to be recharged every day since they are electric scooters. So you can actually make money by picking up these scooters at the end of the day, taking them home and charging them and then putting them back out in the street. So I would recommend this method for somebody who has a van or a truck and can take a bunch of scooters home at one time. So basically the way it works is if you want to get started with Lime, you just have to first download their app. You have to sign up to become a juicer. And when you download your, their app on your phone, it's going to show you a map and basically it's going to show you where these different scooters are at and how much you're going to get paid for charging them. Now some pay a little bit more than others. It depends on the location and how much how much battery they have left remaining. But if you're wondering, I mean, how much you would get paid to charge each scooter, I mean, it depends. You're looking at about between four to eight dollars uh, for each scooter. Now, when you get started with Lime, they do send you a charger where you can charge up to four scooters. If you want to charge more than that, you would just have to order another charger. So basically when you pick up these scooters, you're gonna take them home, charge them, and then you're gonna put them out on the street before I believe it's 7 a.m. So they're ready to use for customers. Now method number six is what you're on right now, which is YouTube. Now most people might not consider YouTube as an actually valid way to make money online, but there's big time YouTubers who are actually making a lot of money. But I'm not saying that you have to be a big time YouTuber in order to start making money with YouTube. You can make money with YouTube through the AdSense program. Basically, you're getting paid whenever an ad is running before, during, or after your video. Now, in order for you to qualify for the YouTube AdSense program, you do need to have at least 1,000 subscribers and at least 4,000 hours of watch time within the last 12 months. Now, I know that can be pretty hard for most people who are getting started with YouTube, but there's other ways that you can make money just by having affiliate links in your description of your videos or just promoting merchandise that you sell. If you look at probably your favorite YouTuber, more than likely they have some type of merchandise that they're selling in the description of their videos or they're probably reviewing and recommending products as affiliates in the description of their videos as well. So let's say for example, if you're considering buying like a new camera and you're just doing your research to see which camera would be better suitable for your budget and for your needs, you might be looking at reviews that YouTubers have done on that specific camera. So what they might do is just do an in-depth review talking about the pros and cons about that camera, the features, who would be best suited for. And more than likely, they're going to redirect you to the link in the description of their video. And they basically say, hey, if you want to buy this camera for yourself, the link's in the description. Now, if you were to click on that link and buy that product, then they're going to earn a commission. Now, some people who have other businesses they just use YouTube as a platform to promote their business. Let's say if somebody's selling a specific product, let's say an online course, for example, they might just share a few nuggets from that online course and put that into a YouTube video. And they just simply give a call to action. They let people know if they're interested in learning more about that topic or that course in more detail, then they give a call to action to the link in the description of their video. 
And when usually people click on that link, it's going to take them to a sales page where they can sign up for that online course. So there's plenty of different ways that people make money through YouTube before they even have their channel monetized. Okay, so let me talk about the last method, which is affiliate marketing. Now, I just briefly talked about this in the YouTube example, but basically what affiliate marketing is, is where you're promoting other people's product online through a specific link. So if somebody clicks on your, what's called an affiliate link, and they buy that product, then you earn a commission. Now, affiliate marketing is probably the easiest method to get started with because you can get started for free. But if you don't have a budget to work with, meaning if you don't have any money to spend in advertisement, it can be a long process in order to see results from affiliate marketing. Because if you're somebody who has no type of social media following, if you have no budget for any type of advertisement, basically you're going to have to create content in order to build up an audience that you can then eventually sell to. Because when it comes to affiliate marketing, people only buy from people that they know, like, and trust. So if nobody knows who you are, if they don't trust you, you're going to have to build up an audience and build that trust with them from scratch. Now, if you're somebody who's thinking about getting started with affiliate marketing, there's a couple of free programs out there that you can sign up and become an affiliate for. The number one is going to be Amazon Associates. So basically, when you sign up for Amazon Associates and you're approved, you can promote any product that is sold on Amazon as an affiliate. So this is basically like the number one go-to method for anybody who's looking to get started just to try it out. But the downside about Amazon is that they pay very little commissions. They pay anywhere between like three and a half to like 8% on whatever product that you're selling. It depends on the category. Now the second most common program is called clickbank.com. I mean, this program is also free to join, but the thing is they pay a lot more when it comes to commissions. I mean, it really depends on the vendor and what type of product that it is. Well, that's basically the seven different methods that you can use to start making money online. Now, I did a lot of talking in this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. And hopefully you guys learned something new or got some value from this video at least. Now, if you're somebody who's interested in getting started with your own online business, but you have no idea where to get started, check out the first link in the top of the description. Now, as I mentioned earlier, if you guys are interested in learning different methods when it comes to making money online or just different ways to earn a passive income, then I invite you to subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. So with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one.